guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. We're into number 36 and of course we are stepping it up to Legendary for at least the next two days. I got loads of feedback in the previous episode. I cannot thank you guys enough for the amount of comments that we got on that one. And actually, the uh, the feedback was kind of torn half and half. A lot of you were saying, yes, make this step up to Legendary. Uh, but uh, on the side of that, there were actually quite a few of you saying, actually stay on world class for the time being. Perhaps maybe wait until you've won the Premier League to, uh, to maybe step it up. So I'm not too sure what to do to be completely honest we're playing at least today and tomorrow's episodes on legendary the first game of which is against Tottenham away not exactly the easiest of games to start moving up a difficulty level but uh, I think I might do at least the next week on legendary and we'll see how it goes to give it an extended period so uh, we'll do today and tomorrow on legendary and then we'll do next week on legendary Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday then we'll reevaluate at the end of next week and see where we are both form wise in the league wise etc and you know how the uh, how the episodes have gone down because uh, I know there was a, a real fear from uh, from a couple of you that the uh, the kind of the amount of chances in games and the amount of uh, the amount of goals from games would dry up and it wouldn't be quite as entertaining for you guys to watch and that is something that I'm very cautious of and very aware of as uh, as I make this step up to legendary so even if we find ourselves still being competitive at the legendary level I may move back down to world class for a purely entertainment uh, purpose you know do you see where I'm coming from anyway. That, um, at legendary for now, let's put it that way. Let's get back to the action. So we've got Spurs away from home. It's a massive, massive game in the Premier League, not only for uh, for our, uh, our battle at the top of the table, but just on a on a rivalry basis. Tottenham Chelsea has been a very, very big rivalry recently, and that is a superb effort from Quadro Asamoah. Absolutely awesome technique on that shot to strike it off the bar and we're really unlucky to go in at uh, half time at 1-1 and not 2-1 up but two goals in the opening 10 minutes are the difference so far and uh, we're going to try and push on in the second half Luis Muriel is obviously playing up top in this one he's got a lot of pace and fantastic feet showing both there to uh, to race away but Hugo Lloris absolutely fantastic diving save and uh, wonderful uh, hands to be able to hold on to that strike so there was a lot of power behind that and uh, Hugo Lloris is definitely one of the better goalkeepers in the Premier League and he proves that yet again with another acrobatic save up to his left hand side denying Kevin De Bruyne this time we're going to try something from uh, from the corner I do this quite a lot try and play the ball to the edge of the box this time it's actually going to go horrifically against me Willian's first touch is awful and they break away and it's 2v1 at the edge of bo the box and I didn't know what to do defensively do you close the man down do you try and wait for the ball across in the end I just kind of stood there hovering in between the two didn't do myself any favours whatsoever but fortunately Andros Townsend put the ball wide and that is an absolute let off and perhaps I'll maybe think twice about using that same trick from a corner in the future. But they're actually going to break into the box here again with Christian Eriksen. Soldado has the first shot. And uh, the second shot goes high and wide. And I thought it was fine. You just get a goal kick. But the referee points to the penalty spot. I had no idea what was going on until I saw the replay. And actually, Matteo uh, De Cilio, uh, made a tackle off the ball. Uh, I must have just pressed B trying to block the shot with a player that was nowhere near. Because you can see, I just absolutely killed Paulinho in the box. So they're actually going to pick up a penalty here. Roberto Soldado is going to take it. We've got Thibaut Courtois in goal and he comes to the rescue down to his right hand side fantastic penalty save and we stay level at 1-1 and that is exactly how the game is going to finish after uh, Courtois made a few questionable decisions shall we say in the past few episodes at least in the, the beginning of this second season anyway but he came up trumps there and uh, we have to thank him for, uh, for getting us a point away at White Hart Lane so we come into the next game it's Swansea at home definitely want to pick up three points from this one if we possibly can as you can see it's in the rain so it's going to be um, Maybe perhaps uh, more suited to Swansea style of play with the ball zipping about off the water off the top of the uh, off the top of the surface. But as you can see, we're still sat top of the table. Manchester City, in fact, didn't win their game in hand. They only drew it. So we do sit quite comfortably three points clear at the top of the table. So if we can continue some good form here, then uh, that will maintain our run. And uh, I want to create a gap if I possibly can. If we're going to be uh, you know, staying on legendary and it's going to get a little bit harder. If uh, I can just kind of pick up some quick early points, then uh, that would be definitely good for the series and good for us as uh, as we push forward into the second half of the season. But Eden Hazard's going to get us off to a fantastic start. Not very tall, only five foot seven or so, but the defender misses the header in front of him, and that is very very well placed up to the top right hand corner from Eden, and that gives us a fantastic start to this second game of the episode. But Nathan Dyer's going to whip the ball in. Boney definitely is a threat in the air, more so than Eden Hazard. But fortunately, Petacek is on hand to clutch the out of the air and uh, fortunately we're able to uh, to stay 1-0 up and Arturo Vidal is going to have another good shot here and again it's a goalkeeper that comes to the rescue this time it's uh, it's the Swansea guy too I think it's Michel Vorm I think they're playing Michel Vorm in goal and then this one not uh, Gerhard Tremel but uh, Torres strike 
that is just an absolute snapshot of genius. There was uh, there wasn't really a chance on there. The ball just dropped to him, and uh, I thought I'd just give it a whack, you know, see what would happen, and it just so so pinpoint accurate into that far top corner off the post you see from the replay just nothing in it but the keeper just stood absolutely no chance there was nowhere else that ball could have gone if it was going to head into the back of the net and as you can see from the half time thing it says 49th minute so it was actually in the fourth minute of stoppage time at the end of the first half so very very lucky to be able to get that goal there but pleased to go in with a two goal uh, lead at half time it kind of gives the uh, knocks the opposition's confidence as they go in for the break I was hoping to uh, to kind of build on that as we pushed into the second half and uh, fortunately we were going to be able to build on that as a uh, performance wise but uh, unfortunately we not before we pick up an injury to Andre Shirley he's actually taken a nasty fall there you'll see from the replay after we make the substitution that uh, he's actually broken his elbow and he is going to be out for two months our player of the year from last season gonna have to bring on uh, Quadro Asamoa as a replacement uh, so it's going to be a big miss actually because he's been absolutely fantastic for us because he goes down hard on that left elbow and uh, that is particularly painful and that is actually broken it so he will be out for two months so he's going to be a miss but so uh, hopefully we can come out with three points regardless lovely flip flap there from uh, from Pablo Hernandez and uh, I don't get the ball away very well whatsoever Boney plays it into Michi but fortunately it's a scuffed effort goes straight into uh, Petatek's hands and we are able to come away with the three points that we so craved as we headed into the game so fortunately we can continue our run at the top of the table and we come back to Champions League football next time round and of course we've won our first two games in the Champions League against Standard Liège and Valencia so we will we'll, we will as I try and get the words out we will definitely be looking for three more points at home against Porto especially considering considering it's at home but Porto are a tough opposition they're a very very good side they've got some very very good players including Jackson Martinez who will be their main threat up top but as you can see they're sat second or sec joint second second slash third in the group we sit proudly top of the group so far with six points so if we can pick up a win and Valencia can maybe uh, draw or uh, or lose the standard liaise then we'll be in a fantastic position heading into the the, uh, the second round of fixtures in the group stage but Quadro Samoa is going to come well not even close I was going to say close but it's not and uh, those two efforts that you've just seen were actually the only chances of the first half we had one shot each theirs was on target mine wasn't and uh, that was how we went in at half time but another good save from the goalkeeper there this time it's Thibaut Courtois obviously playing a rotation side considering the uh, the game against Swansea it wasn't too long before this so I had a couple of players that were a little bit tired so I played rotation side but they still did very very well against Porto here and Iturbe awful first touch but still manages to get the shot away unfortunately he uh, just kind of snaps at it and puts too much power behind and it flies over the bar but uh, we're going to get a good chance to get in front here ourselves Oscar with a nice turn plays the ball over the top for Romelu Lukaku I just need him to be a finisher and he just isn't right now it's a good save from the goalkeeper and unfortunately we aren't able to uh, to get ourselves in front I said I wasn't going to try the uh, this particular tactic I tried it again though and Quadro Samoa this time again fantastic technique much like the uh, the effort earlier on in the episode although he hit the bar earlier on and this time it flashes just over not quite able to keep it down but again the technique is very very good so maybe I will use that technique from the uh, or that uh, that particular play from from a corner in future but that this game just kind of petered out into into a non-existence almost it finished nil nil and this is what I mean when uh, we say that I uh, think playing up to legendary might make games a little bit less entertaining so uh, we will like I say kind of take it with uh, with a pinch of salt for now we'll see how we go for the next week or so but as you can see we do sit top of the table at present three points clear of Arsenal and Aston Villa with Liverpool just a further point behind them so uh, we're doing well so far in the Champions League and the Premier League so fingers crossed we can fingers crossed we can continue that form as we head into the next episode so but feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that tomorrow if uh, you aren't already that'd be absolutely superb if you could do if you did enjoy leave the video a like and uh, if you missed yesterday's episode or no this is Thursday so if you missed Tuesday's episode there'll be a link on screen over the little snippet of gameplay there but that's all for today guys so thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time